In this video, we are going to talk about 10 best places to visit in France. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. France has been the world's most popular tourist destination for more than two decades, with 82 million foreign visitors each year. France's refined culture, delicious cuisine, fine wines, romantic chateau, and stunning scenery attract visitors from all over the world. When most people think of France, they immediately think of Paris. While the country's capital is a lovely city with neoclassical architecture and some of the country's most iconic monuments, think the Eiffel Tower, there's much more to see throughout the country. Try on the D-Day landing beaches in Normandy or the Alsace region's Germanic culture. For castles and wine, head to the Loire Valley, or to Brittany for its earthy Celtic culture. There's also the globally known Bordeaux region, which is famed for, well, you know what. There are the French Alps to see, including Europe's tallest peak, Mont Blanc. The French Riviera, which includes Saint-Tropez, has an infinite beauty in the south. Here are the 10 best places to visit in France. So let's start. Number 10. Marseille. Marseille is a major Mediterranean seaport located off the southeast coast of France. It is one of Europe's oldest cities and France's second largest city. Marseille is a functioning city with multiple universities and industries, as well as a beautiful climate, Roman ruins, medieval architecture, and notable cultural sites. Marseille Old Port, Vieux Port, is located in the heart of the city. This bustling harbor is studded with waterfront cafes, restaurants, and bars and is dominated by two medieval forts. The Quai des Belges is located at the further end of the harbor, where tourists may see luxury ships, ferries, and fishermen auctioning off their catch at the daily fish market. The Calanques are a series of little inlets with breathtaking blue sea and impressive limestone cliffs that are one of Marseille's outstanding natural attractions. Marseille, with its various museums, art galleries, and historic structures such as La Vieille Charite and the Basilique Notre Dame de la Garde, is a thriving regional hub of arts and culture. The city also has a great number of opera halls and theaters, including the Turski Theater. Number 9. Lyon. Lyon is the capital of the Rhone department in the Rhone Alps region. Lyon, France's third largest city, is noted for its historic architecture, gastronomy, and thriving cultural scene. Lyon has nine arrondissements and several neighborhoods. Each district has its own unique treasures. While Presqu'île is the city's cultural hub, Croy Rouse is noted for its hundreds of secret tunnels known as Traboules. The rich district of Brato contains the gorgeous Tête d'Or Park, while Fourvière has Roman ruins and Gothic churches. Saint Jean Cathedral, with its astronomical clock, is a must-see in Vieux Lyon. Many gift shops and while Lyon's prominent landmarks are often illuminated year-round, the Festival of Lights attracts over 4 million visitors to the many candle lightings and professional sound and light performances. Number 8. Strasbourg. Strasbourg is the perfect blend of France and Germany. Strasbourg, capital of Alsace, is located on the border between France and Germany. Strasbourg is home to the European Parliament, as well as the European Court of Human Rights and the Council of Europe. Grande Ile, the city's historic core, is a must. The center provides several museums and remarkable attractions such as the gorgeous Gothic church with pink sandstone, ornate carvings, and a 300-year-old operating astrological clock. La Petite France, a charming district in Strasbourg, is a popular tourist destination. This riverbank neighborhood features cobblestone lanes, quaint cafes, and half-timbered townhomes with bright flower window boxes. Aside from the Opera National du Rhin and the Tetter National de Strasbourg, Significant art galleries and museums include the Musée des Beaux-Arts and the Musée Alsacien. Number 7. Loire Valley. It is known for its breathtaking scenery, magnificent chateau, picturesque vineyards, and old villages. The Loire Valley runs 175 miles along the Loire River, passing through lovely communities like Ambois, where Leonardo da Vinci spent his final years. Tours, Chinon, Anglers, Sommer, and Orleans are all historic villages. Loire's Chateau was a popular meeting place for French kings and nobility. The valley's most notable feature is the abundance of chateau dotting the lush hills. The French nobles built great country manors, fortifications, and palaces. Chambord, Ambois, Rivau, Chinon, and Chinonceau are among the most notable. 
Because the Cher, Loire, Ur, and Loire rivers nurture the lush and rich Loire Valley, it is termed the Garden of France. Many wineries provide tours and tastings in the valley. Number 6. Bordeaux. Bordeaux, the headquarters of the Gironde department in southwestern France's Aquitaine region, is widely regarded as one of the world's major wine-growing regions, producing more than 800 million bottles of notable wine brands each year. Bordeaux is a large port city with great architecture, historic landmarks, and a world-class arts and cultural scene, all topped off with a laid-back environment, built on the river Garonne approximately half an hour inland from the Atlantic Ocean. The pedestrian zone in Bordeaux's city center contains around 350 historic monuments and landmarks, including medieval cathedrals, a Roman amphitheater, and attractive ancient bridges like the Ponte de Pierre. The city also has several lovely plazas, the most impressive of which is the Place de la Bourse, which has a mirror-like effect. Bordeaux's well-developed waterfront features a number of quays where visitors may buy in colorful markets and fashionable outlet stores, dine in exquisite restaurants, or simply relax while taking in the magnificent river views. Number 5. Louberin. The Louberin is the place to go if you want to interact with the upper crust of French society in the south of France. It's a haven for French society, as well as American and British tourists who come to see the picturesque villages during the summer. After Peter Mayle's writings about living in Provence were published, this location in central Provence became a popular tourist destination. With its verdant woodlands, lavender fields, farmers markets, and brightly painted buildings, it's easy to see why the Louberin is such a popular tourist destination. Pottery from the village of Apide Le Vieux, which has retained its Middle Ages air, is a superb souvenir. Number 4. Mont Saint-Michel. The rocky island of Mont Saint-Michel, located off France's northwestern coast in Normandy, rises from the midst of extensive mudflats and some of Europe's most violent tidal waves. The tidal island is one of France's most famous tourist destinations, thanks to its medieval monuments that appear to be heaped on top of one another, and its major attraction, the Abbey of Mont Saint-Michel. After the Bishop of Avranches was supposedly visited by the Archangel Michael, Devout monks built the awe-inspiring abbey in 708 AD. Number 3. Dordogne. You'll have to pick and choose what you want to visit unless you have weeks or months to spend in the picturesque Dordogne region in southern France. There's a lot to see and do here, starting with picture-perfect villages and chateaus like the well-preserved Chateau de Bainac, a hilltop castle. With the Dordogne River running through it, the scenery is very spectacular. The Dordogne also features some of France's most impressive prehistoric cave art. The creatures dominate the Lascaux walls. They're currently closed to the public, but a facsimile is a must-see. Number 2. French Riviera. The French Riviera, Côte d'Azur, located on the Mediterranean Sea's French coast, is a playground for the wealthy, famous, and throngs of tourists. Although there is no formal border, it is commonly thought to run from the Italian border in the east to Saint-Tropez, Ier, Toulon, or Cassis in the west. Although the Riviera is recognized for the splendor of Saint-Tropez, Monaco, and the Cannes Film Festival, there are numerous lesser-known places on the Riviera, like the perched towns of Ease and Saint-Paul-de-Vents, as well as the perfumeries of Grasse, to mention a few. Many well-known artists, including as Pablo Picasso, were inspired by the Riviera, and many of their works are on exhibit at local museums and art galleries. Despite being one of the Mediterranean's most northerly coasts, the location has a delightfully mild to warm climate throughout year. Number 1. Paris. Paris is the world's most popular tourist attraction, with over 45 million tourists each year. Paris is the capital of France and is known for its romantic ambiance, gastronomy, fashion, and art. It is also known as the city of lights, city of love, and capital of fashion. While Paris is divided into 20 arrondissements, each with its own personality and attractions, the city is most recognized for iconic sites such as the Eiffel Tower, Arc de Triomphe, Versailles Palace, Sacre Coeur, and Notre Dame Cathedral. The Louvre Museum and the Musée d'Orsay are two of the world's most renowned museums, both of which are located in Paris. Furthermore, great gardens, such as the Luxembourg Gardens, may be found throughout Paris. Paris, known as the fashion capital, is home to some of the world's most prestigious fashion houses, including Yves Saint Laurent, Lancôme, L'Oréal, and Christian Dior. 
Shopping in the city includes everything from shopping malls to open air markets, boutiques, and flea markets. What do you think of our list? Which place do you like from above list? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.